Good morning, folks. Above Average Seismicity continues. We'll take a peek at a weird tornado, get some interesting eye candy from outer space, and the top story today is their discovery of a galactic current sheet in yet another galaxy. Let's start with our star. The last 24 hours on the sun delivered smaller solar flare activity, a couple filaments destabilized, but none released big CMEs. And the CME we had been expecting to arrive at Earth finally came overnight, about 12 hours later than NOAA predicted, leaving it to be relatively weak in terms of impact. You'll be able to see the minor surges in filament activity here in 304 angstroms. The largest flare merely worked the coronal fields. Filament expansion on the south broke at the top instead of releasing. Could be a day of relative quiet in terms of eruptive activity. The solar wind shows that just in the last couple hours that second CME finally arrived, it was moving slower than forecast, and therefore its impact is lessened in terms of geo-effective disruption. NOAA's forecast of a G3 KP7 event was way off for yesterday. We'll be monitoring geomagnetic conditions today in the wake of that CME. Let's go to California, where two five-pointers struck over the last day, definitely above average for the U.S. West Coast, and a swarm actually struck a lake region in the Sierra Nevadas. With the lack of local faults, I'm honestly wondering if this is either a volcanically created lake that is reawakening, or if perhaps they're drilling tunnels underneath the lake. Few oddities surrounding that event. I know many tornadoes struck the center of the country, but did anyone see this one on top of the Montana mountains? Uh, what? Tornadoes aren't supposed to do that, but this one did. Super strange event here, and we're wondering how much the changing electrical nature of our planet had to do with this event. Fantastic shots of star-forming regions here from the ESO. These infrared and visible light images offer an outstandingly close inspection of the gaseous and dust-filled areas where new stars are ramping up their lives. In this last one, we get a comparison shot of the visible and then infrared look at the same region to see how critical alternate wavelengths are for total proper analysis. Lastly, folks, we know they've found and analyzed the galactic current sheet here in the Milky Way, along with a few other galaxies, and here they describe yet another one. The current sheet is a Parker spiral, rippling radially outward, creating alternating magnetic field directions at the outskirts of the sheet and extending to higher altitudes towards the outside as well. It's exactly what we see in all other current sheets, whether at a galaxy, a star, or in a lab. We get a Parker spiral with growing amplitude bunching up to greater altitudes towards the outside and with alternating magnetic field signatures as well. This is yet another confirmation of the physics and draws our minds back to the galactic current sheet impacting our solar system now, the cause of the disaster cycle. We greatly appreciate your support. Lots of good links to check out below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.